but you need to make one better. I will support you for six months, even though I'm going through chemotherapy, and you need to write me a better book. And here it is, so thank you, Mom. I'd read more, but it'd really take away from the experience of reading it. So, a bit more? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes? Yeah. Oh, she's great. She's cancer free and it's all worked out, and she's very happy that she made that investment in me right now. So. <laughs> there is, uh, okay, I'll read just a little more then. Request from the back there. Thank you. <laughs> Um, let's see. Uh, he's in the book, his childhood love is this girl he went to high school with and she has never given him the time of day. And, uh, let's see. And so he, years later, she, her older brother is the fellow Steve Jaw who rapes his sister. So, let's see. So he goes and stalks her, and he's standing outside her window at night. I stood there for a while, feeling a slight welling of tears, but not a full cry. I loved this woman, and I hated her at the same time. I should have been the father of these kids. There's children playing through the window, by the way. Knowing full well I'd be chaining myself to a vital hell. Could it be worse than the hell I walked through daily? Some folks are just born condemned. She let her brother rape my sister. She ignored me, was rude to me in passing, and yet I wanted her. Wanted her more than anything I ever came upon in all my days. I stepped back, and the rotten deck creaked. The sound of my feet on her porch alerted her dog. The beast leapt up with paws planted on the back of the couch, barking at me through the window. Lily turned and saw me standing there on her front porch. Should I run? Knowing I had no free will, the angel inside me moved up to the door and slowly knocked. Lily opened. She had greasy hair and wore soiled sweatpants. She had not aged well, letting her look slide. The dog stood next to her, barking. I could relate to this beast. It was loyal and vigilant. He would love Lily regardless, keeping her safe. Shut up! Lily yelled, kicking the dog in the ribs. He whined and growled quietly behind her. I still had my hand on the knife and tempted to plunge it into her unfeeling heart. What do you want, she said. I don't take newcomers without a referral and I don't do a job without you calling first. Sorry, I said, not knowing what she was talking about. Lucky for you, I need the money. Come in. She gruffly motioned me through the door. I walked into her house. It smelled like dog and stale cigarettes. I could see into the kitchen. The dishes were piled in the sink, and old pizza boxes and Mickey D's bags lined the counter, along with beer cans and soiled diapers. The kids ignored me, and the young one in the corner smelled like he needed to be changed. Pause that movie. Mama's got to work. Can we play Nintendo? said the oldest, whom I figured might be on the high end of four years. I don't care. She turned to me without looking my way and said, let's go. I followed her into her bedroom and she shut the door. I get paid up front. She had her hand out, gaze turned to the wall. I was stunned. She was pouring herself out in front of her kids. I stroked the blade in my pocket. How much is all I could say. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching my mind. It's another part.